hello everyone welcome to last tech channel if you're new here welcome and i'm so happy to see you all once again okay today topic is how to assign read only permission to the specific file and folder and for the specific users so it is very important because from the cyber security standpoint you may encounter and some of your colleagues or the project manager or so, whoever they're gonna send you an email hey you have to make sure that you have to give a read permission for that specific user let's dive into that folder for example i have one share folder in here uh, just give me one second in here i have a youtube i mean youtube videos folder so if uh, so what i'm going to do is in here i want to create a folder this is the main this is the main computer so this is the main computer so we just want to create one of the example so this is called uh, um, uh, all ceos files so this is all the chief execute officers files so we just want to make sure that no one should able to access this folder because if you right click on this folder you can easily find out that everyone has a full access in here guess how because that's important things that's important question remember that so that's why we want to go with more details if you come to the main main folder so we have one main folder and we have a sub folder or we can say prime folder or primary folder and subfolder so and when you come in here you can see that everyone has full control so in order to just uh, restrict that specific folder we don't have to make any changes on the main folder remember that this is very tricky i know this is very tricky some of the technical people are still a bit confused but uh, i hope uh, this topic or this tutorials will clear the confusion in your mind all right so what we're gonna do is before uh, before we do anything, we have to specify the user. Excuse me. Um, okay, so this is my domain controller, guys. If you have a domain controller, it's okay. If you doesn't, it's just just make sure that you know the username. So I have one user by the name of John. Let me go to properties, account. Uh, it should be John. I can't remember his password. Let me reset his password. Uh, this is my test lab. Um, ABC at one two three four. ABC at one two three four. Uh, sorry, John, that we just disclosed your password to the public. <laughs> uh, but anyway, all right. So, John, what are we gonna say that John is CEO? Now we promote this guy, so he is a CEO. Right click on this folder. What we're gonna do is once we get to here, we can say that. Excuse me, everyone is deny apply no one i mean gone except administrator but we're gonna add only john john what we're gonna say is john is the only one who has a full permission you know let's, let's say uh, deny deny just give me one second if uh to that. let's 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 remove this one we don't have to have a specific uh just give me one second. We don't have to have this specific user in here. Why everyone is involved in here? Um, all right. So just give me one second. This guy has a full permission, which is wonderful. And then um, when I say everyone, because John is also a member of everyone, that is why. So let's 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 make only for everyone. I mean. Uh, just uh, read and write. Uh, read and write is very important. Just let's give them just read. Even though I don't like, I mean, someone to read. Let me go back and see if I can go to the advance. Let's go to the advance. What we're gonna do is everyone has removed from this list. You, you cannot remove everyone because the subject is inheritance. Oh, it's inheritance. Okay, okay, okay beautiful so when we come back here i'm going to the uh, uh, main folder remember that i just i'm in the main folder i'm going to go here i, I would say i will remove them i mean not everyone not everyone i mean it's it's not necessary everyone has a full permission the first time i noticed that i don't know how i have done that right click go to properties i just removed the everyone from the main folder 
Uh, all right, so we have a system. I'll tell you, no man, your system is good, and that's not a bad idea. This guy file server, I would say you're not allowed to touch anything. Whoever is a member of this folder should not. Administrator, user, and administrators. Remember, it's the difference between administrator, administrator as a user, administrator as a group. So there's a two types of uh, uh, credential we have. One is a user, and another is a group. Whoever is a member of administrators, they have a full permission. Even the local administrator, or we can say the domain controller, will have full access. But no one else. I have more than 10 users but no one is allowed to use it. All right, so let's check in here. I'm with another computer. I just want to access the same shared drive, double click and uh, uh, there you go, CO. If I log in, let me see if I can do anything. I can do anything, guess how? Because this user is a member of domain. This user is mem Elastic is a member of domain. Let's me let, let me remove this one from domain users because yeah this 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 is a powerful user guys this is how you can troubleshoot this is how you can troubleshoot I like to encounter this kind of issues in front of you guys to learn how to figure out and resolve those issues domain controller who is member this guy is a member of domain controller I'm sorry bye bye so Elastic is no longer a member of domain controller administrator who is a member of administrator let me see here can you find me in here domain users so this is okay let me find the groups administrators a uh, member of this administrator this guy is member of administrator so bye bye you don't have any permission anymore you're not a member of administrator so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to cmd oh yeah cmd gp update.exe once you do gpapdate.exe, I'm sure it will really impact in your Windows and your Windows is good to go. Means all policies applied. And let's see if this guy is able to create a new folder. Right click and say new folder. Oh, yes, he is. Because let's sign out from this guy and sign in back. Sign out and sign in. This is how you can like you have you can ask the guy to sign out and sign in or you can disable their account and say you just go ahead i type different password uh, all right let's access the shared drive once we access the shared drive here is a ah there you go Windows cannot access YouTube. You do not have permission to access this folder. Uh, here you go, guys. But our M was not the main folder, right? I know, I know, I know. Let me clear that one out. Let me clear that one out. So that because we just removed everyone, right? So let me come back to here, YouTube. Um, so the main folder, right click. Good properties, she is security. Um, let's add specific every one. Right up, everyone. Every one. All right, let's check uh, everyone. Okay, so it exists. Everyone has exists. So, what we're going to do? Read, write, execute, apply. Okay, don't worry. No security. It's not a scary thing. It's not a scary thing. When you come in here, uh go to properties now if you have everyone read and write execute what you're gonna do is edit everyone will say uh, let's uh, uh, apply deny i mean everyone remember that so what i have done is with the main folder double click let me go back to the same place a folder co okay there you go you got it guys so YouTube videos, I'm able to get inside the main, but I'm not able to access the all CO files, so I don't have permission. This is how you can give a permission to that specific user in order to assign. So now if I uh, log in as a John user, I will be able to access this one. Let's try that one as well. So I can access these folders because there's no restriction except that, fo that, except that folder. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 
let's sign up from this guy Elias Tech. Sorry, man. I know he play around with your profile. <laughs> All right. Um, let's sign in to John to see what can I do with John. Oh, ABC F1234. I'm so glad. I have a good memory. I, I remember password. Should be very easy. So I love with the I love Windows Server 2022 because in every action it gives you like prompt like hey do you want like what was the causing why you are not able to do this and that so the same thing it's 10.0.3.15 as my domain control or shared drive folder if I double click in here if I double click in here I am not why so this is how you can troubleshoot yo. I'm not able to do anything it's all because of where's my user where's my user in here I do you guys remember I gave a full permission to this to John user anyway let's find John John right John should have a full permission my friend continue John should have a full permission to that specific folder my friend all uh, right, right click. Am I all right? Advance. John is the only one who had the full permission. Double click. Uh, double click. Then do that. Just wait a minute. Why John has? Because we deny everyone. That's the problem, you know. If I um, yeah, that's the problem. So for me. Let's go to advanced permission. Let's go to advanced permission and let's move the John to to let's remove this one. Remove this one and then apply. Okay. So this is how you can this is how you can apply this kind of permission. All right, I'm able to access and I'm able to access here as well. So what ha what I have done was I just went to properties, go to security. So I removed everyone. Remember that. So we have the everyone and the main folder. We should have the main. Everyone is here, guys. Everyone is here. Everyone is here in the main folder. But I removed everyone from the subfolder. Not the, all these folders, but this only specific folder. So now John has a full permission to do whatever he wants to do, but no one else. So what I have done is I went to properties, security, advanced security. I remove everyone. John is the only one. Everyone is also allowed. It's just read and execute. So let's remove this one again because, well, that's that's by default comes with the. I mean, by default, come with the from the primary. I mean, we can from from the main folder, but you're safe. You're safe. Guess how? Um, okay, so this one is how uh, we can set up. This is secure, and so John has a full. Everyone has a execute, but John is the one who has a full permission read write execute. Administrator has a read write execute and so on beautiful okay guys this is how you can set up a formation in your windows server 2022 and i'm so glad if you learned some stuff from this tutorial so, okay guys don't forget to subscribe share this information with your friend with your friend with your colleague with whoever you think they pursue this kind of valuable information until next time i say safe be brave of course we'll be in touch guys with other videos